Uh, ESPN's Football Outsiders list their biggest hole on the Cleveland Browns. Let's take a look at what they say that biggest hole is. Uh, the Outsiders say yet another AFC North team that had a, an excellent draft. The, uh, the Browns plugged a lot of their obvious holes. Denzel Ward's status as number one corner is pretty secure, but Greedy Williams had a, an up-and-down rookie season. The Browns brought uh, Kevin Johnson off the, uh, uh, on a nice rebound year in Buffalo, and uh, Terrence Mitchell has had some decent years, but uh, not a, hasn't exactly uh, been uh, terrific the whole time. The elements to have a good uh, full cornerback unit might be somewhere in this group. Maybe even the uh, Andrew uh, Sandejo uh, gets involved in the middle of this, but uh, that's, a f that's far from a certainty. Well, they're not totally dissing that uh, unit, right? I think most people would say that the biggest problem is the linebackers and then maybe the secondary and then go from there. Yes, Les. Uh, if the Browns are going to be any good, they they better not have weaknesses on offense because the offense looks stacked. I mean, we said that going into last year, and look what happened. But I mean, if you have Baker Mayfield, Jarvis Landry, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, Rashard Higgins, the offensive line, including Conklin and now uh, Wills, and you've also got Hooper and Njoku. Uh, you better be able to move the ball, and you better be, and of course uh, Chubb and, and Hunt. You better be able to move the ball. You better be able to score defensively. I think is the the weakness, and within the defense, linebackers, of course, largely untested, unproven. We like to hear Mac, as I said, I like to hear Mac Wilson's uh, confidence, but he hasn't proven anything in the league. Uh, so we'll see what happens to linebacker. There, there is some choppiness and safety, and I'll say this too, Les. After Miles Garrett, assuming he isn't suspended and healthy and plays well, I, I'm not as in love with that D-line as maybe some people are. Why, lack of depth? I mean, I, I don't even know that the front-line guys are, are all that great. I mean, maybe Sheldon Richardson it, it was better than I thought last year. Ogan Joby's good. Okay, fine. But I still need a legitimate uh, edge rusher, even if, you, if I give you Ogan Joby and Richardson again. I got to have somebody off the edge opposite of Garrett that I can rely on. Did I hear you say that with the offense, um, are you expecting this team to just try to outscore everybody, or what are, you, what are you thinking along those lines? I'm simply saying that heading into the season, it certainly appears as though the offense uh, has more weapons than the defense. And, um, you know, again, you, you begin with your number one overall draft pick at quarterback just a few years ago. So, uh, I like what the Browns have offensively more than I like what they have defensively. It doesn't mean I'm dogging the defense. It just means I have high expectations for the offense, given the names on the back of the jerseys, given the production uh, at, at various points in their careers, and with the all-important upgrade of the offensive line. You know, with uh, Stefanski coming in like this and all the things you just said about the talent level, I'm wondering if, if Baker Mayfield has to be at that top talent level or he's got enough things that if he just controls the game a little bit more than he's done in the past, might be what Stefanski wants out of him. I think part of that is the, the running game and, and uh, having a fullback as, as part of the offense and a couple of tight ends. I just think that, that while you have to have the quarterback play very well, I think maybe he's taking the ball out of his hands a little bit, which could be a good thing. Les, you make a fascinating point that hasn't been made by a lot of people, and that's why you're the best at what you do. Uh, think about Stefanski coming from Minnesota where he had two classic game managers, Kirk Cousins and Case Keenum. And he got, out, he got the best out of Case Keenum for sure in 2017, and he got the best out of Cousins uh, presumably last year. Uh, so I think that... Stefanski, while recognizing that Mayfield is number one overall uh, as a draft pick and does have a lot of arm talent, he also says, you know what, if you execute within my system and we share the ball, uh, you don't need to put up eye-popping numbers for us to win. Right. Good, good point.